Hello, all you statistics students starting, uh, hopefully this is the first thing you do. I uh, highly recommend you watch this video first before you move on with the course. So here is what your course looks like, as I'm sure you can see by now. I'm going to just go over some quick things that are very important to know. First of all, <clears throat> the, every, I'm going to cover this document. This is included in, the, in this tab here. You do have a regular student email address. Um, we will mostly, um, your instructor will communicate with mostly through Canvas, but you will get emails from your instructor and the rest of the college on your regular email address too. If you have any problems and you don't know how to access your school email address, um, call 833-428-6743, okay? And um, my name is Robert Rapa. I'm probably not your instructor, possibly, but um, uh, your instructor will have his or her email in the faculty orientation section, okay? All right, in the, factual, in the faculty section, I'll show you. Every Sunday evening, you will have homework assignment and a quiz due, okay? Your first assignment is uh, sampling and uh, data, and it'll be s due Sunday evening, June 11th, okay, at, at uh, just about mid midnight Eastern time, okay. Your due dates are not adjusted for different time zones. It is 11.59 Eastern, so if you are on the Pacific West, or in the Pacific West time zone, your assignments will be due at 8.59 p.m. and so on. So. You have to take this 11.59 p.m. Eastern and adjust it to where you are. Online tutoring, I strongly, strongly, strongly suggest you use our tutors. And you could get one-on-one -on -one Zoom sessions. Just email tutoring at egcc.edu. Make sure you use your EGCC email address. That's another thing you must. You can't contact tutoring at egcc.edu from your Canvas email. That's why this is so important to check both your regular student email address and your uh, Canvas email address every day, okay? And uh, so email them. They do Zoom, one-on-one -on -one Zoom sessions. They're awesome. So we, I suggest to use them because we use Excel and they are proficient in teaching you how to use Excel for this course. And I'll get into that a little later. Each homework problem, okay, it has a message by instructor feature. Okay, if you get stuck, stuck on that problem, you just click it and I'll show you here. Message my instructor, and we'll, I'll show you this live, okay? Um, a, a live version, all right? Click on message my instructor. It'll go to directly to your instructor. Your responses, however, will not be received in your email canvas or <laughs> email student address. It'll appear right here. You'll see like a little red dot or circle with how many responses you get. Now, you do not have to be in the problem that you asked about to be to receive to see that you got a response. So, in other words, say I'm working on this problem, I'm stuck, I message my instructor, I work on five or six other problems, I log in, you know, a couple hours later the next day, and I log into any problem that I'm working on, it doesn't matter whichever problem you're going to work on next. You see a little red uh, icon here, that means you've got something back from your instructor. And that will be your response to your request about message my instructor, okay? Is that clear? Okay. All right. <clears throat> so that's where you'll see it. Um, most homework problems will give you three chances to get that problem correct, okay? If you do not get that problem within three times, um, <clears throat> you, you still have many, many, many opportunities to get that problem right, okay? So say you click on a problem and you miss it three times. After you miss it three times, click on this little key here. That's the key. That'll give you the answer. Sometimes if you see the answer, then that'll tell you. You might be able to figure out what you did wrong. Okay? And you can always message my instructor, obviously. Um, <clears throat> once you click on that, you see the correct answer after the three attempts. You could go in and get a similar question. It'll give you a new problem similar to the one you just saw, different numbers. You have three chances to get it that right. If you don't get it right three times after that, you can get a new problem. You can do that 99 times. So you really have close to 300 attempts to do every single problem. If you want to get 100% on your homework for your grade, 
which is, I uh, uh, can't remember what the percentage is. We'll look at it. All right, anyway, quizzes are different. You get, you get one chance at every quiz. However, you do get two chances to get most problems correct. And I say most problems because some of them are true or false. If you see a true or false problem, you might want to just make sure you try to get that right. You may not get another attempt, okay? Um, and I say may because there are some problems that aren't geared that way, and some are, but I will say if you get a true-false or 50-50 chance uh, problem on your quiz, I suggest you try to get it right. You may not get another chance. But most of them, when you're doing a problem like this or something, you're going to get two chances to get it correct. And then if you miss both of them, you've missed that problem, you're done. You have to just move on to the next one, and, and, uh, and it'll be kind of some missed problems, okay? Best way to succeed is to watch the videos. I'm going to show you videos, 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 okay? The lecture videos, lecture videos, okay? All right, watch the lecture videos, okay? Um, there are other videos that you'll see, like when you pull up problems. Um, you can look at those, but I strongly suggest you watch the videos. But a lot of those use TI-83 or 84 calculators, some videos that are like embedded in the course I created all these videos, lecture one videos, lecture two, chapter two, recording one videos, chapter two, recording two. I recorded these and it goes over step-by-step -step problems, how to do it the way EGCC teaches statistics, okay? You do not need a TI-83 or 84, okay? We're gonna use Excel. However, um, <clears throat> Excel is actually easier than either one of these two. So you'll be glad that you uh, that we're using, we're teaching how to do this course through Excel, all right? Um, ideally, you want your Excel to look like this, um, where, you, where you pull up the formulas and Dropbox. So uh, formulas, more functions, statistical. By the way, you get free access to Excel through your student portal. Okay, make sure if you have any problems in doing that, at grabbing it, contact the TS Help, TS Help, Tech Support Help, or that phone number that's up there. Make sure you could access Excel. You will not be able to do well in this course unless you have access to Excel. I promise you, you won't. And it'll be a lot easier. There are some portions of this course where you could either use Excel or do it by hand. But eventually, there are uh, the, uh, you'll get to a point where you cannot possibly do any more by hand. I don't even know how to do it by hand. You need Excel or a TI-83 or 84. I want you to use Excel. You don't have a TI-83 or 84 calculators. They're expensive. We do not teach you how to use do these problems using that calculator. However, if you have one and know how to use it, we're not going to stop you, but we are teaching this course primarily using Excel, okay? You will also need a calculator. If you have an iPhone, you have a calculator, okay? If you don't have an iPhone, just make sure that you're, um, this is a good one that I recommend if you don't have an iPhone, and uh, it just does things. You just need a calculator that does orders of operations and uh, scientific calculator. These are 15 to $20, depending on where you get it, how you get it. But it doesn't have to be this one. It's or, or If you don't have an iPhone, it doesn't have to be this. could be anything that does square roots, raises something to a power more than the second power, like x to the third power, x to the fourth power, so and so forth. Okay. All right. One thing I want to warn you, if you have a Google Chrome, <coughs> Google Chrome is, is, uh, does not work well with our videos and, and the math ports that, you know, doing your math homework. Um, I would stay, I would use either Firefox or Edge or something. And I, let's see. And there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Um, read this. Um, let's see. Okay, so yeah, read this document too. I kind of went over it quickly. I don't want to take, um, to have that you. Okay, here it is. To mention that Excel work that this, uh, instead said it, we mentioned in class that the students need to install Office from the student portal in order for, have all the functionality needed. The online version does not have everything you need in Excel. When you click on Microsoft Office, there's an install uh, Office button at the top right corner. All right, so, uh, we also received information their apps were removed from Google Play. Uh, they will no longer be able to uh, available on Chromebooks. If you have Chromebooks, you're going to have a problem. 
I am not a tech expert. I'm the only reason why I read that word for word because I don't really understand it. My Excel works. I use it all the time. Your Excel should work. If it doesn't, contact tech support or your instructor. But I will say that if you have a Chromebook, you're going to run into problems. And if you uh, and if you use uh, Google Chrome, you might run into problems. You might not with Google Chrome. Right? Anyway, there's just some things you have to you know make sure that you do right. You will need Excel. Make sure you have access to it. Okay. All right. Now let's flip to um, the course. Here's the course. Okay. Um, it may not look exactly like this by the time I'm done with tidying up, but basically you're going to have here some information you could read, helpful information, things you need to know. All right. Um, read through all these. Um, Okay, tutoring for sure, IT help desk you'll need. Um, computer specs, I, I, again, I'd stay away from Google Chrome's. I'd stay away from um, Google, uh, 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 Google uh, those kind of computers that I mentioned. Tutoring, okay, uh, accessibility services. All right, so there's a few things you might that might find you helpful here, but uh, let's get to the leap. I would not worry about leap. It's a very uh, it is if you just want to expand your math skills and you have time to do it, great. Uh, but it's not something I would recommend. You have a textbook. I it's there for your benefit if you want it if you need it. But your chances of passing the course if you just look at the textbook and never the videos, or or, or at least your efficiency rate will go way down. Here's what I want you to do. Okay, every every so often, not before every chapter, not in every chapter, but like right here, these are optional review. Where you see optional videos for review and optional review exercises, these are only for a review of basic math that you 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 know that you had before in your life at some point. If you need a refresher, it's here. Some exercises. You can still message my instructor just the same, uh, but they will not count for a grade, okay? All right, they will not count for a grade. So uh, here's some things on rounding. You definitely need to know how to round. Um, running short of two and a half minutes left before this thing will kick me out. So I have to uh, wrap this up quick. All right, but this is just an intro, okay? This is just an intro, all right? So whenever you see, um, Whenever you see optional video or optional review, they do. You do not have to view them. However, if you're uh, lacking, if you need some refresher on these subjects, there's only a few problems in this one. Total of twenty, about thirty problems. You know, but it won't take you that long. Uh, I would definitely take advantage of this if you're really not proficient at these things, because you're going to need them in this course. I only put what you need in this course. I did not put anything in the optional reviews that you won't need. I tailored it to this course. Okay, now let's get to the crux. Here's champ chapter one. Chapter one lecture videos. Have to watch these videos. These will help you in your graded assignments, okay? Here's your learning objectives if you want to see the learning objective. I put must complete towards your grade all the ones that you need to do for your grade. So for the first week, you need to do chapter one definitions and homework, chapter one frequency tables, so a total of 22 homework problems, and then your quiz, you, you, your, your homework you could go in and out of. Let me mention one thing on your homework. You could go in and out of your homework all day, every day before the deadline. Uh, your quiz, you do have two hours to take your quiz, okay? So uh, sometimes these things appear automatically. Hey, your homework was submitted. It's, uh, you know, you're done. You're never done with your homework before, this, the, um, before the due date and time, I promise you. Anytime you think you can't get into a homework problem and you're still within the deadline, you can. You don't even have to ask your instructor to let you back in, blah, blah, blah. You could get back in, I promise you, okay? Here's chapter two. Here's some more optional review exercises, okay? And uh, and so when it says optional, it's optional, okay? And <clears throat> and now here we go. Here, it is, here are the ones, these are the ones I want you to look at for your graded assignments, okay? And again, and so on, all the way down to the end, okay? All right, if you have any questions, obviously contact your instructor. This was a quick overview of how to uh, uh, navigate this course. Good luck, and I'm at 1455, and 
I'm sure you'll do great.